Hi everyone, how's it going? My name is Sergio and welcome to a new tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to create spring bones in Anima 2D. And first let me just show you what we're going to be making today and everything is going to make sense right away. So spring bones allow you to create pieces of clothing, hair, or just stuff that is going to be dynamically changing in your game character. So for example, I have, uh, this is Steve, my character from my Anima 2D Basics tutorial that if you haven't watched, I'll leave a link in the description so you can go ahead and watch that. And um, basically he has two ribbons coming down from his bandana. And what I wanted to do was to make those ribbons move automatically so that if I have an animation of him running, I don't have to animate every single bone in every single frame or something like that to make them look natural, I can just add some spring bones to make them move automatically and dynamically. And that's, I think this is a pretty cool effect. And so today we're gonna be making this. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do it. So the first thing we're gonna be needing to do is to download a Unity package that I've put together for you guys. And in this Unity package, is going to have this folder right here called tutorial. In the tutorial folder, we're going to have an Anima 2D, uh, which, uh, would ha which has all the body meshes uh, already set up. Um, all of this was covered in my Anima 2D basics, so we don't have to go over that again. We have the sprites and we have a couple scenes. Today, we're going to be working on the main scene, but I've also made another scene so you can play around with the a few properties in the spring bounce and stuff. but. All of this, uh, I will explain it in a minute. So, um, to get started, let's go ahead and stop play mode and we're gonna create a new project. This project, I've already created it, but it's basically a blank project, which we're gonna call Anima 2D Spring Bones and set it to the 2D preset and hit create project. Awesome, so now that we have created the new project. This is just a blank project to which I've done, uh, in which I've downloaded the Anima 2D asset. Uh, to do that, you just have to go to the asset store, hit on Unity Essentials, down here Anima 2D, or you can just use the search bar and import everything. After that, we're gonna have to open my tutorial package. You just double click on it with Unity open and import the whole tutorial folder. After you've done that, you can just open the folder. Let's go to scene and main scene. Here we just have Steve, just how we left him in the Anima 2D basics. And let's go ahead and get started. So uh, here in the Anima 2D folder, I have all the body meshes already set up. If you remember, if you wanna learn more about how to make uh, the body meshes and set up the sprites and set up the character and everything, go watch my Anima 2D basics tutorial. Everything is covered in there. So let's go ahead and grab our bandana body mesh and let's uh, drag that onto our character game object as well as the back and front uh, ribbons. And now I'm gonna move my bones game object down here so it's not a mess. Uh, now in this project, uh, we do not have the sorting layer but that's fine because we only have this character so we can, we can play with this. We can just use the default. So since he the head is on the second uh, position in the layer, let's go ahead and move the bandana to the third and let's position it right up above the eyes and I'm gonna rotate it a little tiny bit to match kind of the head's rotation. Then let's grab the ribbon on the back. This one is gonna be behind the head so we're gonna put it on uh, position one. And then for the front one, we're gonna have the that in front of the bandana. So we're gonna put that onto the fourth position. And let's go ahead and bring this here to the end. And the same one for the back bandana. Uh, since this is a little bit in perspective, I'm gonna try to make the back bandana be a little bit uh, more on the right. There it goes. Perfect. Our next step is to open the bones game object and go down to the head bone because we need to add this to our bandana because right now if we move the head, of course the bandana is not following. 
So let's go ahead and uh, select the bandana game object and grab the head bone and drag that onto the list. And now we need to open the sprite mesh editor so we can bind those bones. So let's go to window, animate 2D, and then sprite mesh editor. I'm gonna dock that right down here. And we can see the head bone just going straight across our body mesh. We can just go ahead and hit apply. Oops, actually, let's go ahead and hit bind so we actually do something. And then check the overlay and hit apply. Perfect, now that's set up. So we can move on to the ribbon back but we don't have any bones yet for this. So let's go ahead and set that up first. To do so, all we have to do is just select the head bone and then we're gonna create a new 2D object bone that of course is gonna be attached to that head bone. So to detach it from there, but still keep it parented to it, we just need to select the head bone and then here on child, select with the little circle, select none. This will detach the bone from it, but it will keep it as a child of it at the same time. And that's kind of confusing, but um, basically, if you get this transparent line, that means that it's not gonna follow the parent object and it's not gonna be attached to the tip of it, basically. So let's go ahead and call this bone uh, front ribbon one, and I'm gonna go ahead and copy this so that we can change the names more quickly because we're going to be creating a few of those. Let's try to match the rotation the best we can and then let's bring that down to 7, 0.17 seems right about, uh, seems a good amount. So um, there it goes. Now I'm going to do the same and create three more bones. Now to do the same for the back ribbon, I'm just gonna duplicate it and then move it over here. I'm gonna actually deactivate, uh, whoops, not the body, the head, so I can see the back ribbon a little better. Actually, I need to take off the bandana too. There it goes. And let's position it right about there, seems good. And I'm gonna go ahead and change the name for all of those. Awesome, once we've done, we've done that, let's reactivate all of those game objects. And now all we need to do is go ahead and bind those bones to the meshes. So selecting the, after you've added them to the list of each one of those, uh, we just need to go down here to the sprite mesh editor and hit bind, hit apply, and do the same thing for the other ribbon. Awesome. So um, I'm gonna split this tutorial in two parts. With this, we set up the bones and we're ready now to go ahead and take a look at how to create those spring bones and how to tweak them so that they have the behavior that we want. And also we'll talk about how the different properties in the component uh, make those behaviors change. So if you like this video, uh, hit the thumbs up button if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, leave them in the comments down below and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next episode.